Hi there guys, my name is Aaron and you can learn, make and create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit an amazing portrait step by step using some actions. So without further ado, let's get started. So first thing first, as you can see, this portrait needs to be clean. So for cleaning, we are going to use three different tools. One of them is Spot Healing Brush Tool, Healing Brush Tool and Patch Tool. So I'm going to sort this Spot Healing Brush Tool. But before we start retouching this portrait, make sure to check all the links down in the description because you'll find the raw file and the retouching actions so here we have the makeup artist retouching actions 2023 and click on clean and black and white help player click play after we do that as you can see we have two different layers in a single group as you can see it's clean layer and the black and white help player so we're going to sort the spot healing brush tool and i will start cleaning the forehead first this is just a general cleanup so make sure to make it right and as i said in the beginning make sure to check all the links in the description because you'll find the raw file and the retouching actions usually when i make new video tutorials i put all the raw files in the telegram channel so make sure to check my telegram channel all the raw files are free to use uh, because usually i, I find them some photographers websites so go use them but uh, make sure if you post them in social media for example if you post a before and after of the trial file make sure to tag the photographer because uh, it will violate them rights So here is a before and after what we've done so far with the cleaning and now that we are done with the cleaning it's time for some frequent separation so we are going to merge both of them one and click on frequent separation click play wait until it's done and open the group of frequent separation as you can see in the frequent separation we have the color layers and the texture so color we are going to work in the color with a mixer brush so so for the right settings of mixer brush, wet by 10%, load 45, mix 45, flow by 33. And we are going to zoom here in the forehead. And I'm going to start mixing the skin tones. Just like this. As you can see, we are mixing the highlights with the color. And check it before and after. And it's starting to look okay. Now we keep working with the mixer brush in the color just like this but make sure to use a welcoming tools or a pen tablet for a touch because the mouse it's harder so i would highly recommend you go get a welcoming tools pro i'm using welcoming tools pro s and it's been a game changer for a touch because i used to work with the mouse but when i switched to welcoming tools pro my life changed for good make sure to go get one there are a bunch of pen tablets out there. I prefer to use Vacom. Now check a before and after. And it's starting to look amazing. So you have to keep working even in the other parts, not just in the face. For example, you have to keep working on the neck. Just a little on the arms, hand, etc. etc. So this is how I like to retouch not necessary to retouch them hands or arms or the neck but i like to just to make this portrait look amazing not that it's not looking amazing because the photographer did a really great job so just need to touch everything portrait this is what i like to do Now check a before and after and I think that it's looking okay. Now that we are done in the color on the low frequency, time for texture. We are going to use clone stamp tool and I'm gonna zoom in here on the forehead again and clone stamp tool works this way. You have to copy paste the texture. For example, you can click and hold, hold keyboard just like this. Click here to copy the texture. 
and paste it like this make sure to copy paste as near as possible for the texture because if you copy the texture here and you paste it here as you can see it will create some bad texture so make sure to copy paste as near as possible because this is the only way to remain the original texture and check before and after and i think that is looking okay now i'm gonna merge the frequency separation with background too i'll click on dodge and burn and click play open the dodge and burn click on the dodge the white brush and 10 percent opacity i'm just going to start dodging the portrait just like this I'll click on the burn and burn just around the cheeks, around the forehead, a little on the eyebrows, just like this. You can after, and if it, that is too much, just lower the opacity and click on dodge again, dodge the hands, a little press before now. Okay, I'm going to reduce it just a little. Turn after over this entire process. Okay, merge the layer one. Now click the eye retouch. Then click on the remove veins, but since we don't have various veins here because we have cleaned them at the beginning. Just going to paint it the white of the eyes. But as you can see, 100% is way too much, so I'm going. By 35 i'll click on the brightening brightening is for the white of the eyes just like this you have to paint it make sure to work on both of the eyes because it'll be ridiculous to work on, the, on one of them reduce it five again and click on the eyeball brightening use 100 percent brush and paint it side of the eyes just like this. and you can check it before and after 100% is way too much, so I'm gonna go by 65. I'll click here on the iris contour. Again, with 100% opacity of the brush. Just like that. Same process. Them. After. And read. On to. And check after all this. Nice retouch. Okay. Now merge the layer click here that says darken eyebrows and you can paint it white brush after go by so that says darken eyelashes and paint it the eyelashes if darker After guys, one hundred percent brush, just gonna paint it. I don't make up like before. Always you have out. Okay, merge. Click here that says uh, click play in white brush paint it. After and obviously one hundred percent too much. So I'm going five. Click here that says eyeshadows, pick a color you want. Click play, zoom in. And this, you have to pick a color. So I'm going to go with the green, but 
so paint it and 100 be too much so i'm gonna buy 20 and like this after just a little and again my shadows purple and pick a lighter color paint it like a before after I think better than it before what's that like a before 100% end of two. I I maybe click here that says eyeshadows pop play in around that. Like here, the talk and knock. Play. Bigger holes and paint it like this. Since we don't have the teeth. This portrait showing okay no. okay make sure to remove the color make sure to remove the color fingers like brush this and the color going the backdrop or in the background like before always reduce the opacity of that now click here that says lipstick color click play wait until it's done and just paint around them lips that Now check it before after which or change the is gonna out some lines because you have to be accurate on this one and you can open the lipstick colors and you can pick them till you find the best looking portrait And I think that I'm going to stick with this one and reduce it just much. I think that is okay for a portrait. Now merge first. Click on soft lab, uh, sorry, soft wet lips. And paint it on the lips just like that. After I'm going to reduce it by 22, merge one. After we are done with the makeup details, I'm going to click on sharpen, basing contrast, and face contour. Click play and wait. Done off. Click on the sharpen, control I to invert this layer mask and check it before and after. Sharpen. Again, I think it's okay, but I'm going to reduce it by 50%. I'll click on the basic contrast and I will reduce it by 25. Click on the contour and I think that is okay, but I'm going to reduce it by 75. I'll check out before and after all this entire process. I think it's looking way better. So, 
when we are done with the retouch time for some color grades so i'm going to check color grades one by one until i find the best one So I'm going to stick with A12 as for and after. I'm just gonna put some more settings in color grid. So I'll click here on the color balance, balance of like this. Check it before and after. Also look. Click again here on the color balance. Click on the shadows two in. Reduce it by twenty five check all these layers one by one or lock up is okay reduce it by 30 one five click on very black and white okay click on the color balance one two and check up again some more settings go with the yellows and make here better do sit again click here on the select color click reds two after it. Click here, selective color. I'm gonna go press, I drop after it's okay. Now, before now, again, great. And this is four after, and this is four, and four. This touch for this so that's it for today guys i hope you get to check all the links in the description because we have profile retouching actions color grade actions everything that i use up for a touch and see you guys in the next one peace